Hey, it's Nicole Tompkins, Jill Valentine in the new Resident Evil 3, and you're checking out Resident Evil Database. Come on, you creepy ad stopper. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Thank you so much for having me. I went through a rigorous audition process and was very lucky to kind of hit it off with the creative team super early on. I think the amazing cinematics director Steve Knebley and I really had a shared vision for what Jill was going to look like in this iteration of the franchise. I've definitely watched lots of the original game and I felt the responsibility to respect the past performances and versions of Jill because she's such an iconic character in the video game world and in culture. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. Well, I was very lucky to not only do the voice, but also all of the performance capture and facial capture for Jill. So we were able to kind of shape, you know, how she moves, how she reacts, uh, her level of sarcasm and wit, and many of the qualities and characteristics that I think shine through in RE3, uh, along with a fantastic script and such a, a cool animation team that makes everything look super badass. She does scream a little bit, a little bit of cursing, you notice that? Yes, no, we, I think we handled it great. I mean, as in any video game, there is lots of effort noises, so definitely know that every time you get grabbed by a zombie or you die, I sacrificed a Jill Valentine death scream for you. No shit, look, we're using the subway to get people out of town, you win? Subway. Well, that... I mean, Jill means something different for so many different people. When I look at her, I see clearly she's a badass, she's a professional, she's super well trained, but she's also passionate and driven and in so many ways very selfless because she is on a mission in a less than pleasant environment. We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Well, while I can't claim to be as awesome as Jill Valentine, we can all strive. Um, no, I, I would say something I really respect about her is just the fact that she always gets back up. That's just something you can look up to in, I mean, almost any hero. That's something that I think makes many heroes heroes. Oh, one moment? Oh, it's so unfair. I had so many great moments. When you're working with talented creatives, like, every day is fun. I've had so much fun working with Jeff Shine, who plays Carlos, Neil Newbon, who's Nikolai, and Nemesis. He's always my enemy. Uh, and we had so many fun scenes. As, as dramatic as it is and as serious as it is, I think we also were able to find a lot of fun moments of levity that are in the script. And I think in the final product, you see it shine through, the, the interactions between Carlos and Jill. I, I know Jeff and I had a blast um, playing with that and, and figuring out what that was going to look like. Where am I? What's going on? I can't tell you about my future projects, but give me a follow and stay tuned. Uh, you can, however, see me as Idril, the Shield Maiden of Gondor in Middle-earth Shadow of War for those Lord of the Rings fans out there. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. 
Oh heck yeah. I just want to say thank you so much for such a warm welcome into the Resident Evil family. It's been such a pleasure to see everyone's comments on social media about how much they're loving the game and the character, and I just feel super privileged to get to come join in and nerd out and be stoked. So thanks, and I hope to talk to you all soon. Thanks for playing. Stay awesome. Take the fucking hit!